Every week this month, NBC4 is highlighting trailblazers in our community working to improve the lives of African Americans. And tonight we share with you the story of a woman who saw a problem in the world of cosmetics and work to change it. NBC4 is here on Johnson spoke with the Central Ohio native brings us the story of how a cosmetic line designed for and by people of color came to life. Sierra. Yeah, it's a problem faced by so many people finding a shade deep enough or pigmented enough for your skin tone. It's a problem I myself has struggled with for years, but tonight I want to introduce you to the CEO of Minted Cosmetics. It's a makeup line created to fix that problem co-founded by a woman from right here in Central Ohio. It really started with this idea and belief that everyone should be able to find themselves in the world of beauty and no one should be treated like an afterthought. A simple idea with a complex answer, but one Gehanna native and now CEO of Minted uh, Cosmetics, so KJ Miller, looked to address. And we started the company because we couldn't find makeup that we really felt worked for our skin tones as two deeper skin black women. Miller and a classmate from Harvard Business School experienced what so many women of color face firsthand, the lack of depth and diversity in the multi-billion dollar cosmetics industry. It was hard for us to find foundation that looked right and, uh, you know, lipsticks, blushes. And out of that struggle, a company was born in 2017. We started with nude lipstick because nude lipstick sort of felt like a holy grail product that everyone should be able to find. But for us, we just couldn't find. And since then, we've expanded to every major color cosmetics category. This founder says she never dreamed she would become oh, yes. a makeup mogul. Now boasting of features by publications like Forbes and Essence magazine, she just knew she wanted to do something on her own, something different. And so I've launched multiple businesses, almost all of which were complete failures. Uh, um, but because I just was excited about the idea of running my own thing. And even this successful business wasn't without its challenges. We pitched a number of investors who didn't get it, who felt like the market was too niche, who felt like there are way too many makeup brands out there. And so, yeah, there were naysayers, but I would say the people who got it, got it quickly. The brand can now be found at more than 1,200 retailers, including Target, Ulta, and CVS stores around the country. And they offer dozens of products from lipsticks to powders in a diverse range of shades featured on a diverse spectrum of models because people need to be able to see themselves. How are they going to understand if a product works for them if none of the people who are trying it on look like them? And it's that line right there, people need to be able to see themselves, that really got KJ started in the very beginning. She says she hopes to see her brand continue to grow and fill that void so everyone feels included in the very massive beauty industry. <laughs> really cool, Sierra. Story. Thank you.